Another key meeting for Cattlemen is being held in Kansas City this week, focusing on this year's market outlook. We have more in this week's Market Watch. Market Watch, brought to you by Fort Dodge Animal Health. Joining us this week is Jim Robb, Director of the Livestock Marketing Information Center. Welcome back, Jim. Thank you. You've got a meeting coming up, an Outlook conference this week, talking about the, uh, the state of the industry. Will operating costs, will that be a big topic of discussion? Tell us what the big issues are. I think operating costs, everything from feedstuffs to fuel, will be on the front burner. We'll also be talking about the corn acreages, and the yield prospects, and then importantly, things like the growing U.S. ethanol industry and their demand for corn and other feedstocks. And then we'll be focusing a lot more than usual on the international marketplace, including what China will be buying uh, from the rest of the world. And then a rather new topic this year will be fertilizer costs. Obviously, that'll impact the crop production side of the U.S. agriculture, but importantly, it also directly impacts the cattle industry. We fertilize a lot of our pastures in the United States, and due to these record high fertilizer markets, we're going to see some pullback in fertilizer on pastures and reduced stocking rates in many states. I know you've also been keeping a close eye on protein supplies, pork, poultry, etc. Will that be a major topic of discussion? It will be. Wholesale beef markets, for example, have been under great pressure, mostly from increased supplies of pork and poultry. U.S. beef production in the first quarter was up about 2% from a year ago, but pork production surged over 11% above a year ago. And chicken production is up well over 4%. So we have a lot of meat at the retail case, and there's a lot of competition in the wholesale markets. And when the U.S. pork and poultry industry will start to react to these higher grain prices, it will also be discussed. And we think it's, we're starting to see some initial signs of breeding herd and breeding flock reductions in the U.S. We really won't see much pullback in U.S. pork and poultry production till late this year or early next year. And then the other surprising thing that we'll be focusing on has been the choice select spread. The wholesale choice beef prices have been only slightly above select beef prices recently, and that's rather unusual. The uh, surge in choice production, that's a little bit counterintuitive given the high grain prices, correct? It certainly is, but we're seeing a large increase in the percent of cattle grading choice, especially in the last few weeks. Okay, Jim, great information as always. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. For more information from LMIC, visit our website at cattlemen2cattlemen.org.